You're listening to Sonny's Monday Motivation here on loudmouthradio.com. million small businesses in the U.S. Creating 1.5 million jobs annually. Small business accounts for 64% of new job creation in the U.S. There's strength in numbers. No matter what we face, know that there's strength in us. Because of you, we're able, we're capable, we're resilient. And we are available because we are small business. And together, we're the economy. Good day, good people. This is Sunny, your host. And today is another Sunny's Monday motivation time period. And I'm so grateful to be on air and to be in your listening ear. I hope that wherever you are, you're safe, you're sound, and you're ready to get this Monday and this work week started. So let's go straight for it. I know last week I kind of went in and had a uh, little more than an average of a 10-minute segment with you guys. It wasn't even 15 minutes. It was about a good 30. And um, it was all cool because I think it allowed me to really emphasize some things that I think a lot of us as a society are starting to face and see, um, which is, you know, a lot of uh, things that have been put before us. Some can be a motivating factor, some can be a distraction, but only you can identify what that looks like to you, right? So today I wanted to talk about staying on pace um, because it's easy to fall short or to – not complete the process of what you're sometimes working towards. Because why? We get distracted. Naturally, we get distracted. And that's a real thing. Getting distracted is something that any and every person uh, can easily fall into. Nobody's oblivious. You know, nobody has an opportunity to have a special button that they turn on not literally at least, but what if we could um, work consciously to better focus and uh, plot out what it is that we need to do? I know uh, one of the reasons why I I thought today would be a good statement to um, have this conversation is because, one, it is Monday. Monday is normally the day that sets the tone for the week. Whether you're looking forward to it or not, it comes upon us each and every week like clockwork. And because of that, most of us work within a confined aspect or a schedule perspective of a work schedule, whether you're working for someone else, you're working for yourself. Uh, you have probably certain things that you do, um, like clockwork. You have your routines. But then there's the things that a lot of times that need to get done and have to get done, and they are not necessarily the routine things. Those are the things where you have to dig a little deeper uh, sometimes you got to plot out a chart, a timeline. You know, if you're a taskmaster, you may have a calendar that you, you live by religiously. You might have a to-do list. You might have your notes in your phone. I know I combine all of those things in my approach a lot of times. Um, so what is what is the right way? Only you can identify what the right is, the right way is for you. Uh, but definitely uh, it is imperative that you recognize um, the rhythm of how you, you work or the rhythm of how you focus and the rhythm of how you align things to where you know that you're getting them done. And that in itself is why I say it's important to stay on pace. I will tell you this. I have uh, I have these moments and times where, especially from a, a production perspective with the radio, for example, um, we have different guests, we have different collaborations of things that's happening, and so it requires um, a lot of times time synchronization, uh, mapping times, um, you know, calendars syncing to uh, be able to identify who has what availability. Um, and it's constant. It, it does not fall back. That's constant. That's something that is a constant thing. 
And because it's a constant a constant thing, I already know that I'm going to have to deal with it. So it's not really something that is uh, an ultimatum. It's, it's, it's just what it is, right? So when you have um, a plethora of things that kind of pull at you like that, how do you handle them? You know, so I'm, I'm kind of asking you these questions because I know for me, um, it could be a combination of a whiteboard. I have a, a I have a, a to do board that is um, like a, 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 a you can use a dry erase a, a dry erase marker onto it. I also have my physical calendar on my phone, my Google Calendar. I'm using to sync. Um, I'm, I'm using planners, journals, organizers, even sketchbooks. Sometimes I need open space, open paper. So. You know, I, I think it's so important to uh, make these connections, figure out what makes things fine-tuned for you, what makes things ignite and click. And, 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 and when you find those spaces that allows you to do so, it makes it a little bit easier for you to approach things. And, and, and a lot of times it helps you to better execute. So for, um, for most people, they are... Uh, there's the employee part, you know, where if you're working within a confined uh, organization or company, there's already um, an area of, of where you're designated and, and you're assigned to what you're doing. Um, even in that, if, if that's a part of your, your spaces, I work a part-time position myself, so I know from this time to that time it's going to be allocated to do certain things, Right. So um, I have to make adjustments accordingly on the days that I'm not uh, fully there or that I'm there and it's taking in part of my day, like today. Um, you know, I'm working on my loudmouth business stuff at this point. It's, you know, it's early morning. Um, it's already, uh, the, the muster day has already started. And I know that um, later into the afternoon, I'll have to transition to the next thing. And so that's the one thing that I can say. We all do these transitional phases throughout the course of the day. If you're a parent, you know, you're getting up, you're getting your kids ready for school, you're getting their food and everything together, you're getting their clothes, making sure they're squared away, either they're taking them to school or getting them on the bus or you're watching them walk to school, whatever that looks like to you. Then you have to transition over to get yourself together, sometimes at the same time or after you're done with that. And then that starts your other part of your day, right? Um and then if you you know, if you have other things that you're doing to align and meetings and uh follow ups and you know, doctors, appointments, you name it. So, guys, our life is so complex, right? And I think a lot of times we're so busy doing it that we don't necessarily see the versatility that we exist and, and, and what we possess. And um, even with that, it's important that you do take time out sometimes to see how you're moving, maneuvering, and, and, and grooving because we don't always give ourselves enough credit to um, – substantiate just how much we take on in the course of a day. And if you have a large family um, or you have heavy levels of responsibility, then a lot of times your head's down. You don't have time to look up and try to think about it or figure it out, right? So with that being said, uh, it, it's, it's equally as important to uh, give yourself opportunities to, um, to, to meet the marks of what you know you have to get done. You know how you have some things you just got to get done, and they become more of the pressing issue. And then you have your things that maybe don't that don't get completed today, and they roll over to the next day, or they roll into the next week if they were only allowed on a certain particular day. But whatever you do, just stay on pace, right? And allow yourself um, room if you have to adjust. And then, too, sometimes don't beat yourself up if you don't get it all done in a day. Because, you know, sometimes people talk about time management, and that's always been a discussion. It became a heavy topic in the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, even now, still prevalently, we talk about time management. But, you know, really how, how can you, um, you know, manage the time that you have better is probably even a better way to, to, to scope it. So um, today is going to be straight to the point, short and sweet today. Um, just a little thought-provoking messages and, and inspirational thoughts to uh, give you some aspects to get your day going, and, and, and hopefully um, it will give you something that will uh, empower you today and uh, keep, you, keep you going. So it is uh, a time change weekend. We we're coming off a time change Sunday. The, the time rolled back. So if you're like me, I love longer days of sunlight. So this is the period where I have to adjust and 
and lock in. We're getting ready to go into our seasonal holiday fourth quarter, last part of the year aspect, right? So now let's do what it do, guys, because we'll look up and we'll know 2023 will be amongst us. And, um, you know, from there, it just starts the clock, and it seems like it rotates quicker and faster than we can actually put our, put our hands on. So I'm going to encourage you to have a wonderful day. Um, make, make, make today count and, uh, you know, share this content with someone you believe that would be interested in hearing a, a, just a good little word to uh, get their day started. And I appreciate each and every one of you that, that, that take the time to invest in listening to our content, share our content, you know, um, give me feedback about the content. We appreciate it all. So for now, I'm out of here, guys. Enjoy your day. No matter the time or the season, we're open and available 24-7. Shouldn't your dealership be too? Carumba.com, the convenient online used vehicle marketplace. Register your independent dealership now. You're listening to the Loudmouth Radio Network.